Welcome to our data.table deep dive. Today, we're exploring a subtle yet intriguing question from our community. What are the different results when using assignment by reference with the standard form versus the functional form in data.table? To set the stage, let's clarify the question. Our viewer points out that there seems to be a minor difference between the standard form and the functional form of assignment by reference using the equals operator in data.table. Specifically, the standard form courses the right-hand side to a vector, while the functional form does not. This detail, while minor, isn't well documented. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. In this video, we'll explore the differences between the standard form and functional form of assignment by reference in data.table using the equals operator. First, let's understand the standard form. When we use the standard form, the right-hand side is coerced to a vector. Now, let's look at the functional form. In this case, the right-hand side does not get coerced to a vector. Let's see this in action with some code. Here we have a data.table and a vector. We'll compare the results of both forms. Notice that when we assign a list to the new column using the standard form, we get a character vector. However, in the functional form, we get a list. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Great question about the design of the assigned by reference operator, colon equals. When using it simply, like col equals val, we automatically wrap val in a list for convenience. This makes assigning a single column easier. However, in the functional call form, like colon equals with parentheses, we don't wrap val in a list anymore. This form is already extended and colon equals acts as an alias for list updating in place. Remember, even when using colon equals as an operator, if you're creating two or more columns, you still need to provide the right-hand side as a list. And that's it guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.